Hello everyone, we've just received this SOTA 2020 in the post and it's come in for service and repair. The brief that we have regarding this airbrush from the owner is that he believes he's mixed up the paint tips with the needles and for some reason the trigger does not work the air valve and he thought that the new body which is all black and fixed head was the same as his soda that was manufactured before September 2018 where the head actually comes apart but the new one that which is this version has a fixed head and he didn't realize that until he re read the instructions by which time he's already damaged the uh, looks of the airbrush um, the airbrush is rather um, painted up and caked up with paint inside the cup and as you can see all round and I think my first course of action with this airbrush is strip it right down to the bare shell get it all cleaned up and then start from there once we've cleaned all the parts up have a good look at it and see what we can get sorted so I will go ahead get this all cleaned up as soon as it's cleaned up then I will run the video again and uh, we can go through it together and see what is wrong with the airbrush and how we're going to put it right Now that I've got the airbrush all cleaned up um, on the body we can see the damage that's been caused by the owner as he was trying to get the head off but he didn't realise that the newer versions has a fixed head until he read the instructions so I'm going to put this airbrush together I've just finger tight put the air valve in and I shall put the uh, needle screw in and I will have to take the airbrush apart again once we've found if it's going to work or not I believe the only issue was with the airbrush was dirt as um, there was quite a lot that will block in certain areas up um, where the tip sits was considerably um, had dry paint around it and a couple of the holes in the hold down ring were blocked and oh, I think that was the problem the customer was having with the airbrush and as we put the trigger in I will check there is an action with the trigger and if I just gently press that down I can feel the resistance of the air valve replace the tip and the hold down ring everything's going to be finger tight as we only want to uh, check that the airbrush is working is sitting correctly so the needle can slide through the uh, quick disconnect plug as we have the quick disconnect system connect the hose so we've got a 
drop of the cleaner in there. The air is definitely coming out. And so is the cleaner. and consistent. I don't think it's seeable in the video but my plan now will be to strip the airbrush down, lubricate it all up and uh, then put it all back together again, double check it and uh, get it back to the customer and as I previously said my thoughts that uh, it was just dirty seems to be correct but I, as I say I will clean it all, uh, lubricate it all up and uh, then uh, test it with a little bit of paint and get it back to the customer I've now lubricated the airbrush everywhere took it all apart, refitted it all back together with lubrication and uh, now I'm just going to give it its final test and I always spray into a bucket there'll be some lubrication come out I've lubricated all the parts and we do have a video about this on the uh, so to so 2020 uh, all the threaded parts, the parts here uh, the air valve in the air valve chamber and the um, needle kit uh, and all the trigger area everywhere is always lubricated up as you can probably see here I do go somewhat overboard but it does make the action of the airbrush much much smoother And I'm just going to test it with a small amount of paint now. And this is the Badger Miniature Air Paints. And just put just a couple of drops into it before I try it on anything else. everything seems fine with that so now I should just give the airbrush a blow out with the uh, cleaner Give the, uh, the airbrush a quick clean up again, uh, take the needle out, wipe that down and just put a bit more lubricant onto the needle and post it off to the customer. And as I've already stated, uh, the problem was the, uh, with the airbrush was um, obviously the customer had caught it a few times here and uh, marked it up but that doesn't stop it working the main problem was the cleanliness of the airbrush thank you for watching this video if you find it helpful and informative please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content thank you so much for watching